Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about the segregation in concrete. That what is segregation and why segregation occur in the concrete and how we can avoid segregation in concrete structures. And I will explain this phenomena with the help of the examples so it will be more easy to understand. First to define the segregation in concrete. So the definition is it's the most simple definition that I have used here. Used here, the segregation here, segregation is the separation of particles which are present inside concrete that is sand, cement, and aggregate. So, for example, if I consider here, this is in a concrete mix. This is in a concrete mix. So, the separation of the concrete particles, for example, there are different components of the concrete for example the cement the sand here here is the cement here is the sand and here maybe the coarse aggregate or aggregate simple so the separation of these particles from each other during pouring of the concrete is known as the segregation of concrete so it is the separation of the particle this is very important it is the separation of the particle which are, which are present inside the concrete so to explain this with an example, if I consider, for example, this is in a form work for the beam, this is in a simply supported beam, and I provide here the form work for the beam, and then I will put the concrete inside this beam, so then it will be a purely simply supported beam. So, but before this is just the form work or shuttering, so I have to put the concrete here through a concrete mixture, for this I need a truck mixture so this is the concrete is coming from the concrete mixture and I have to pour this concrete inside this beam in order to make the beam because it is in, before it is now far more provided just in order to make it real beam so I have to put the concrete in this into this beam. So now the concrete is poured from a certain height into the beam so we should be careful about this height because if this height is more than the certain value then there is chances of separation of the concrete particles so we have to avoid this height or we have to provide certain height of the pouring so that particles are not separated from each other and can come down and during the pouring and can settle down here in the bottom starting from the bottom and then increasing increasing up to the top of the beam so there is no such separation of the particle from each other so the bond is not disturbed during the pouring so this is known as the segregation and we should take care of this height which is a very important factor in the segregation now if I look to the general examples here I took some pictures so in this case if we look to the concrete this may be general slab or the generally the plain cement here plain cement surface provided maybe for different purposes so we can see here there is no such height for the uh, pouring of the concrete we see very little height so there is no chances of the segregation in such case now if we look to the second case in this case the concrete is poured from a very high height as compared to the depth of the uh, member in which this concrete has been poured so in this case the height is too much so this height is more than maybe certain value so we have more chances of segregation here in this case so now to avoid the segregation occur in the concrete so there are some factors the first factor is that due to the bed or worse uh, water to cement ratio because we are using worse sim worse water to cement ratio so we have more chances of civic segregation so we should take care of the water to cement ratio in our design mix in order to avoid segregation of the concrete the second reason that why segregation occurs is that concrete is not properly mixed concrete is not properly mixed so we need some mixing time for the concrete so to have a good mixing a uh, uh, good mixing concrete so if our concrete is not properly mixed then if we have more chances of the segregation because the particles are not adjoined to one another 
in a good manner so that's why there is more chances of that the particles move away from each other during the pouring of the concrete so it is important that concrete is properly mixed during the pouring the third is that concrete should be uh, when it's poured more than 1.5 meter of 5 feet the height of the pouring the height of pouring of concrete pouring of concrete when more than the when it is more than the 1.5 meter or we can say 5 feet so we have chances of segregation of the concrete so in order to avoid this our height of the pouring of concrete should be always taken as less than 1.5 meter or 5 feet the fourth reason that why the segregation occur is the why vibrating the concrete for a long time vibrating the concrete makes vibrating the concrete makes for a long time so if you vibrate the concrete uh, during mixing for a long time then it happens that it can separate the particles from each other and it can uh, result in the segregation of the concrete so these were the different reason and the five re the fifth reason might be that are not a good design mix ratio that we don't have a not having a good design mix ratio it is also very important that our components of our concrete should be in proportion to each other in order to avoid the segregation of the concrete so you guys understand in this phenomenon in this lecture that uh, we can avoid the segregation of the concrete by uh, maintaining the height of the pouring of the concrete less than 1.5 meter or 5 feet and also by uh, providing the good design mix of the concrete and by not vibrating the concrete mix for a long time and concrete should no concrete should be properly mixed uh, before pouring of the concrete so these were the different um, main important factors affecting the segregation of the concrete and I hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.